name is Basia Korzeniowska. I was born in London. My parents are Polish, and I uh, and I work. I have worked all my life as a teacher, as a librarian, and as a volunteer in the Polish community with older people. I met my husband in 1979, and we he came over from Poland on a student visa, which with a work permit. He was allowed to work in High Wycombe, and I met him, and in four weeks we decided to get married. After 10 years, our 10th wedding anniversary, we went to Paris, and this was a very, very significant moment in our lives. We went to uh, the Cathedral Notre Dame. Quite by chance, it was the end, the celebrations of the end of the Second World War and the whole of the French government was there. At one point, my husband was in tears and he just whispered to me, if only something like this could happen in Poland. I can't imagine, he said, the Polish government going to mass with the ordinary people to celebrate anything. And then we forgot about it. And then it was the fall of the Berlin Wall and everything changed. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, which was incredible, I was working in a school where there were some German teachers who were crying and explaining to the children what it was all about. But for me personally, it just meant much more freedom. The year after, we went to Poland by car, and it was the year where all the Germans were suddenly allowed to go from the west to the east and the traffic jams were enormous. It was snowing, and we stood in a traffic jam for over 10 hours, and nothing was moving. Finally, when we got to Poland, things in Poland seemed to have changed as well. People were more relaxed and, and nicer in a way. And then, a few years later, my son was studying German at Oxford, and he chose to do his year abroad in East Germany, in Erfurt, which again couldn't have happened before. When we went to Berlin in 1990, we took the children to see the wall and to see the graves of the people who, um, who had died trying to cross it. And the ironic thing was that there was a plaque to um, a person who had tried to cross the wall the day before it came down. And that had a profound effect on my children. So when the wall came down, it was, it was like nothing short of a miracle, really. And my job as a teacher has been to explain why this is a miracle.